you're you're doing well in a personal training, and you told me you told me the story, man. I got this is you, good. You yeah. touched on it. So so you find out, you know that that um. So so tell us how you ended up with a gym. How did how did that happen? Yeah. So <laughs> it, it it's you know, and it's just like almost everything else in my life. It's always been the big decisions have always been very <laughs> quick. Like I'm gonna do this, and you know, just like with the Marines, it was one more day. Like all right, let's go. Here we go. You know, yeah. and so. Um, yeah, this is 2012. Um, I don't know if you, yeah, obviously you guys remember 2008, oh, the, yeah. Oh, yeah. the oh, collapse, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. So Absolutely. here we are four years later and, you know, with the personal training, the, the fitness industry, the, the sure. economy hasn't really made a comeback. Right. So, I mean, we were just skinny for oh, yeah. a, a lot of years. And so, right. um, you know, after four years after four years later, you know, the, the current owner of the, the gym that I was training at, which was fitness together, um, you know, he just essentially just kind of threw in the towel. It right. was just, he, yeah. you know, he moved, moved away, um, was going to get another job. And so, um, he was working some deals to try to like shift things over and stuff. And they right. all kind of collapsed just right. right then and there. And man, I'll tell you, I just, I still remember it. It's going to be one of those things you'll remember for the Probably. rest of your life. Yeah, yeah. You know, like kind of up there with like the day we had my kids, right? right. Like, yeah. You know, okay. and it was, a Saturday morning, which I told you literally will be seven years ago tomorrow. That's fantastic. Yeah, it was Memorial Day. Yeah, weekend. The podcast, yeah. By the way. That's how we make miracles happen. Yeah, right? so, um, <laughs> yeah, I was out playing beach volleyball one day and on a Saturday morning. It was gorgeous, just like it is today. Yeah. And uh, super pumped. I had a great session and was playing. And I was walking up the garage stairs, and I get a text message, and it's like, hey, J.D., sorry to tell you this but as of monday the studio shut down and yeah. you know we're closing up yeah you know and via text via oh, text yeah. you know and so i was like you know it's just really like oh, oh crap you know oh, and yeah. just just bought a house just got married you know just you know so everything was was you know feeling like on the up and up and then right. all of a sudden just wham right in the balls you know and right. so Freaking out, totally freaking out. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just sure. out yeah. of, you know, if I did tough. I did a year in, in Iraq, and I got to tell you, I don't know if I've ever been more scared at that moment than ever, ever, wow. because That's it intense. was like, how, That's a statement, right? how yeah, am I going to do this? You know, and like, do I have to go get a job now? Like, do it, like, you know. So, I made some phone calls, you know, and just immediately started calling people, called, you know, corporate with the franchise. Right. And, um, I was like, listen, like, what's the situation? Where, where are we at? Like, what's it going to, you know, what, what's going on? Right. And they were like, you know, if we shut this, the studio down and, and after 14 days or whatever, if it's not reopened by then, then yeah, it's out, it's gone. And right. it's like, wow. okay, well, what's got to happen to reopen it? And they're like, somebody has got to take it over. I said, okay, well, what does that mean? Right. Tell me. Right? Yeah. Like, what? how do you do that? <laughs> right. And they're like, well, you know, they gave me the list of things that had to happen. And I was like, well, I could probably do this. And so, right. um, went on to call a bunch of the, actually called a lot of the clients, yeah. uh, to. family yeah. members, talked to my wife and I was like, Hey, listen, like, what do you think? You know? And everybody was very supportive of it. Right. You know, and it's like, Hey, listen, you've been the face of the French the studio anyway. So right. it only makes sense. It's a natural so, transition. Yeah. Yeah, one week one week later, I owned the owned the studio, owned it, and uh, just like that, just like that, and um, but I mean, it wasn't like I was I owned a, a thriving business. Oh, yeah, no, it was no, there was yeah, a lot yeah, of work yeah. that had to go and 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 happen in order to yeah. to make it work. And I want to talk about that. Hey guys, this episode is brought to you by our friends at Palm Media. Palm Media is a boutique digital marketing company built for realtors by realtors. They help agents and teams dominate a target market with specific tailored strategies. Everything from video, chatbots, landing pages, Facebook ads, database management, and coaching. And oh my gosh, it is way more affordable and simple than you could ever imagine. Call now for 100% free strategy session, whether you have a budget or not. Dr. Ben, my good friend, will make sure that you are heading in the right direction, building your presence online, or flat out crushing your competition. Before you spend a dime on marketing, door knocking, or sending out postcards, call Palm Media, 813-765-7706, 813-765-7706, or click the link in the description below. Manifest your paradise.